Today we'll be unboxing and setting up the PlayStation 5 Slim for the first time and we're going to be seeing how it's different from the original PS5. So let's get straight into the unboxing. So this is the PS5 Slim from Costco. This comes with the Spider-Man 2 bundle as well as an extra controller. And this PS5 Slim is the one with the disc. And the very first thing that jumped out at me right away is that this does not come with a vertical stand. So I already don't know how I don't feel about it, but you know what? Let's get straight into the box and see what's inside here. So like I said, this is one extra controller that comes with this bundle. So you actually get two with this packaging. Set that to the side right there. And this is the actual PS5 box. So really cool design. As you can see, it has the Spider-Man 2 uh, picture on here. Comes with the digital voucher, so it doesn't come with the physical disc. And the other contents of the box is, of course, the PlayStation 5. Comes with a disc drive. Comes with two horizontal stand feet, which is interesting because the original PS5, you could take the vertical stand and apply it to the side to make it sit horizontal. So this is going to be a little bit different which I'm kind of glad they did provide some sort of stand because of the power cord, a USB cable to obviously charge your controller. And once again, it comes with a voucher for this. And this is what it looks from the back. So we have a box within a box <laughs> within a box. So this is the plain, PS5 box here. Let's open this up. Let's see what we have inside. At the very top, we have the AC power cable. We're going to set that to the side here. Just some wrap. We have another PS5 controller. We have an HDMI 2.1 cable. So this does support 120 FPS or 120 Hertz up to 4K. So it's essential that you're using a 2.1 HDMI cable and it does come with one. That's great. And of course we have a USB-C USB cable to charge your controller. Now this is the PlayStation 5 itself. Let's take this out for a second. Very meticulously wrapped here. And this is it. Now, I don't know if it's the lighting in my room right now, but this white seems to be sort of of a bluish tint. Uh, it's not completely white here. And immediately this is much, much smaller than the original PS5. And as a matter of fact, it's gonna do a real quick comparison. This is the Xbox Series S, which is a very small console. And this is only slightly bigger. So I really do appreciate the fact that Sony has gotten down to a smaller version. And if you guys are unaware, Sony has actually discontinued the original PS5 consoles. So they stopped manufacturing them. And once they're sold out, you will no longer be able to purchase them. It's only going to be the slim version moving forward. So let's look at some of the ports on this thing. See if there's anything different. So standard USB-C ports on the front. You have a power button as well as a dedicated disk drive, which is interesting. I'm always for disk drive. Uh, I believe physical media is the way to go always. And flipping it on the back here, we have an HDMI 2.1 cable. You have two USB 3.2 high sport ports here, the AC cable, and of course you have a local area network. So for physical internet connection, which is excellent. So. I'm gonna look around in the box. It did say it came with vertical, or sorry, horizontal stands. 
I just don't know where they are right now. So let's see if I can find them in the box. So after doing some digging in the boxes, actually the very first thing, there's a little pouch. And in this pouch, you get these two little legs. These are the stands. And these go, I don't know if you can see it, but there are holes right here and here. The legs attach and the console sits like this horizontally. So let's try and get these attached and see if we can get it to stand. First, we're going to peel this off. Back to the side. See if we can get these installed here. And that's how it sits. Now, I gotta say, I'm not really a fan of this. I like the old PS5 where it sat off at an elevation, and I like the fact that it could stand vertically. There's no vertical stand. We have to purchase separately, but you know what? Overall, um, this is what you gotta deal with, unfortunately, nowadays. So next step is we're gonna get this set up 